What's going on YouTube? Mark is Czar, and we're talking about Exodus today. So Exodus.io, um, go to the official website. There's a lot of spammers out here, so make sure you go into the legit website, which is up here, and you'll see the same thing that I'm looking on my screen. So what is Exodus? So Exodus is a cryptocurrency wallet. So that means you can store your crypto, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, pretty much any type of cryptocurrency that you see on, you know, CoinGecko. So if I go back to the home page and crypto is back up again, as far as a market cap, one trillion. So that was a little dip underneath that trillion dollar mark earlier today, but we're up, which is good. But yeah, so any cryptocurrency you see here, um, Exodus more than likely supports it. And this way you can have all your cryptocurrencies in one location, right? So you can, um, you know, build your portfolio that way instead of it having, instead of having your cryptocurrencies on different exchange, right? You have some cryptocurrencies on Coinbase, you have some cryptocurrencies on Binance, on any of these different exchanges, but you want to have it on one place so you can manage your portfolio easier. You want to download Exodus. So we're going to do that here. Um, the last time I made an Exodus video was about three years ago and it was a good video. So I'm going to do some, that's why I'm doing a video for Exodus for 2021, just a refresher on Exodus, what it is and how we can use it. So I'm gonna go to get Exodus now. They do have an option option for you to do it for desktop and for your phone. So just for this video, I'll do it for desktop and then next time I'll do it for mobile, but it's the same concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, this down arrow. And then since I got a MacBook, I'm gonna go ahead and download Mac app. So we could download this Exodus wallet and show you how you guys can uh, really accumulate your cryptocurrencies as well. And um, and this is gonna help us down the line as well as far as like staking our cryptocurrency so we get, you know, get interest on our crypto. Um, Exodus is gonna play a role in this as well down the line. And Exodus is a, um, is a reputable uh, place as far as like desktop wallets as well. Like I said, um, um, I, I talked about Exodus before in the past and I use it myself and it's, and it's pretty good. So, um, Try to get Exodus open so we can see what this thing looks like. And then I'm going to do a transaction as well so you guys can see me. Because I got some, uh, I got an altcoin called VeChain. I got VeChain on in my Binance account. So I don't really want it on the exchange. And plus, I just want to start putting all my crypto in one, one portfolio. Um, and then I'll show you another way to make it more secure because this is online. So that's the downside for Exodus. It is online, so it makes it more exposable as far as the security standpoint because it's online, right? Another way to store your cryptocurrency, which is a hardware wallet, and I'll dive into all that stuff as well. But as far as right now, if you got a little amounts of money of crypto, you just want to one place Exodus is the way to do it. Okay, so welcome to Exodus. It says make your first deposit, restore backup. So we're gonna get get everything set up here. Um, so if I want to make my first deposit, which is something I want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Actually, let's go to been a minute since I've been on Exodus. Trying to see where everything is at real quick. This is it right here. So you want to do this step to create your password. So just in case you ever lose your, uh, can't get into, lose your password, you can't get into your Exodus account, you can go through a backup process where you can uh, restore your account so you can get into your wallet, right? This is very, very important. So I'm just going to make a uh, just briefly unique password. Okay, so we're going to hit next. So memorize your password. So it's time to practice, uh, practice your password. So follow along. This is really, really important stuff right here. Uh, a lot of people forget their password or forget the right down their backup password key and they can't get into their wallet and they lose all their funds. So this is a very, very important step. And I don't want you guys to lose your funds. You guys want to make sure you guys money is nice and safe. So, uh, so yeah, so let's go through the process, everything. So it says write down your 12 word phrase. So your secret recovery phrase is hidden for security. So what I can do is print this 
and then it will show me my uh, my toy word phrase so let me go ahead and print okay so don't print it so print it if you got a computer uh, to print it but if you don't have it the print then just hover over this and it's going to show you your security uh, recovery phrase for your wallet so you need to write all this stuff down because this is going to help you get back into your account so I'm gonna write these one by one then we can go to the next step so I got everything written down as far as my security 12 word phrase and then I'm gonna go to next so please get up and write this write this and store it somewhere right I don't know where you're gonna store it but store it just write it down and just save it somewhere because this is important I'm gonna hit next and then I was gonna say check your paper backup this is the last step which word from the list below belongs to your paper backup since I wrote my words I know what my paper backup is and um, let's see here which one did I wrote down Okay, got that one, and then just double see if I got another one on the list. Okay, and this is from your recovery. All right, so I got one of them. One of them matches my re uh, 12 word recovery. I'm gonna hit finish, and then let this process complete itself. So it's backup complete. Your backup was updated automatically a few seconds ago. So I'm good, right? So, um, so this is my exit's password. I can reset my password for like, but if I want to view my secret face, if I ever forget it, I can go here. Um, I'm in private. I understand the risk of showing my a security phrase, hit security phrase, and then I'm going to unlock my wallet with my password, right? The password we did earlier. Okay, so hit unlock. I think I put my wrong password in here myself. Okay, perfect. So I got my password, it's unlocked, and then this is where my secret phrase is at, so I can come back to it if I need to. Okay, so I'm gonna hit OK. I don't need that. So that's very very important so first thing when you get to your exodus wallet go home go to settings go through this process for your backup so just in case okay so this is your wallet and then uh, so yeah so what we're going to do is add um, a currency to our wallet and that's going to be a VET v chain and that's already added and I want to receive my v chain and this is my address so I'm gonna copy my address and then we go to the next step all right so I got that address copy right got a copy and make sure everything is correct right look at the beginning and at the end to make sure this address aligns with your wallet so 0x8be6 then we got ff90 and then I'm gonna hit exit out of that and then I'm gonna go to bind go to my Binance account to my wallet and I'm gonna go to the pot. I'm gonna go to withdraw because I want to withdraw from the exchange here. And I have 1478 V chain. And then uh, the recipient address is gonna go here. I'm gonna hit paste. This at this aligns up 0x8BE6 FF90. Okay, that's good. And then this is for my VET. And do I want to do the minimal? It says the minimal. I don't want to do the minimum so I could just put max because I want my whole thing but if you don't want the whole thing you just edit this and go let's say if you just want to do about half of it you can and this is going to be transaction fee which is 100 100 VET and you will get 400 VET all right so that's just the fee from uh, Binance so I want my whole max um, off the exchange so I'm and the fee for that is 100 VET so I'm gonna hit um, submit all right make sure everything looks good hit submit and then since I got my authentication Google authentication on here and download this Google authentication app so you can um, this is just another security feature to to help protect your withdrawals and deposits on your account so nobody else is doing it so let me go ahead and finish this and then we'll see uh, the full process okay so I just put my Google authentication in and it says go to my email and verify so that's what I'm going to do So 
just verify everything because if you don't verify this last step it's not going to get sent so hit confirm withdraw and this will start the official process of withdrawing my v chain into my exodus wallet and then um so this is going to take a few minutes and then once i go through we can see our vet reflect into our exodus account so i'm gonna hit so go back home wallet and it should show up here momentarily and then we'll finish the last step for exodus and just look at our different layouts we could change into as well while we were waiting. Actually, we could do that now. So let's just change our layout. Let's see the type of layouts uh, Exodus got now. So let's go to personalize. So this is the default theme here. So this is the different colors. I want to change my colors, change my skins. The last, uh, the last, oh, so I just got my V chain. So just here in my Exodus wallet. That was quick, that was fast. I'm actually surprised that it came so fast, but it's in my Exodus wallet. But let me change my skin here. Last one I have with Doge. Um, this is my favorite skin. Um, I thought Exodus would have added more. But it seems like they haven't done that yet. All right, I'm just rock with the fella Doge, man. So you can change your different sounds. So yeah, just to change the texture and layout of your wallet, personalize it, it's cool. So I'm gonna go back to home. And then I got $36.42, um, which is in VeChain, which is my portfolio, that's my asset. Go to wallet, and I can see it here as well. All right, so this is received, this is the information we received on. And just like that, we got our cryptocurrency in our wallet. And you can do this for any asset that you have, right? Tezo, Tron, XRP, Ontology. There's a whole list of different altcoins that that you can um, store it on your um, in your wallet. And to get it off the exchange as well. And this is another, um, and when you do this, you can actually stake your crypto in this wallet. And then I'm gonna show you a uh, show you a neat trick how to do it on here, and you know earn some interest on your money. You know why have your money sitting when you can uh, um, stake it so you can earn a you know API APY on it. And I'm getting 0.51 API on B chain, but B chain is just a long term long term hold for myself. And you could you know show you the different balances as well. So it shows you with balance. Uh, if I just want to clear up some of this stuff, that just shows just my balance. If I want to uncheck mark this and show my empty balances that I will hopefully add into my wallet down the line. Um, so that's Exodus. And then you, they do have the exchange feature as well. So if I want to exchange my B chain without actually going back to Binance to trade it for like Ethereum or for ADA Cardano or ALGO. Algorand or you know any other cryptocurrency or altcoin I can just do it through um, Exodus and just save me time and the hassle of going back and forth from the exchange I can just do it right inside my wallet and just exchange it and then, then it'll be added in my wallet and I can look at it as part of my portfolio and yeah so that's just Exodus in a nutshell um, so yeah, save up, go uh, rewatch this video if you guys got lost or have any questions, comment, let me know and I can help you guys out and then um, yeah, so that's Exodus and then all you need to do to get out of Exodus, the easiest thing to do, just to close your wallet, is just hit X, right? So that's exit out and then let's see what it looks like when I open it back up. Okay, already got it here, so get it from the bottom and it's going to say welcome back type in your password and I'll just type in my password but say if I forgot my password right and we already did the backup process right rewatch the video because this will help you out I'm gonna hit restore and then I'm just type in my 12 word phrase that I got and then just type it in um, in the right um, number slot right so you got to do it in the number so so do it from left to right